they asked me if I wanted to write it. And I was like, I, I feel like you guys have misunderstood like what it is I do. I'm like, I play dress up and say the words that other people write. I don't write the words. Um, and they're like, nah, you'll be great. Currently, I have been working with DC to introduce Dreamer and Slash Neonal into the uh, DC publishing universe. Uh, she was a character that was created, of course, originally for Supergirl, and she's based off of Dream Girl, who is a member of the Legion of Superheroes. Of course, that takes place in the 31st century, so Nia is the 21st century version of uh, Dream Girl, and um, she was created just for our show, so I have been working with DC to bring her into the comic book universe. And so I've written an eight page Dreamer comic for the DC Pride Anthology, which is coming out June 8th. Uh, I could not be more excited about it. Um, and I think it's a perfect place for Dreamer to have her comic book debut. It was illustrated by uh, Rachel Stott and then it was colored by Enrica Aaron Angiolini. They just kind of created this beautiful, comic. I mean, it looks stunning and the color is fantastic and her powers look amazing and she looks amazing in the suit. And the, I mean, the whole, it is like a complete dream come true, uh, pun completely intended. <sighs> Man, let me tell you, I mean, this was so outside of my wheelhouse and this, this kind of came, I, I first went to DC um, last February and I'd sort of started talking their ear off about bringing Dreamer into the comics because I knew Supergirl wasn't gonna last forever and this character is just so important and, and groundbreaking and means so much to so many people that I felt that she needed to live on beyond the show. And so I started talking to them about what her potential legacy could look like and that turned into the Pride Anthology. Um, or at least my, my participation in the Pride Anthology. They said, well, we're working on this thing. And I was like, perfect. I didn't want her comic to be centered around her transness or fighting the trans battle or, you know, coming out to someone or fighting a transphobe or I wanted her debut to be about who she is as a hero, not about what she is, if that makes sense. Like when I was growing up, this would have been a game changer. You know, I was a young queer kid who didn't know another queer person growing up in the middle of nowhere. If I had been able to turn on the TV and seen a superhero that was like me, that would have at least been another something to tell me like, hey, you're not bad. You're not too different. You're not weird. You're not gross. You're not a freak. You are a superhero. And that can be really, really life-saving for kids who don't have anything else or don't have anyone telling them that being trans is okay. Especially if you're growing up somewhere where everywhere else, everyone else is telling you that it's not okay and that you are wrong. I think for me, pride is First and foremost, a celebration for me. And because I think the work that we do year round, because it does not stop, is exhausting and really hard and difficult and tiring and depressing and, and unyielding. And it is so easy to get so overwhelmed, especially this year with all the trans bills, it's so easy to get pulled under and, and just feel like you were drowning under all of the insanity that is thrown at us every week. And I think Pride Month is an opportunity for us to recognize that and recognize how far we've come.